Hi everybody, I'm Gary Nellis. My YouTube channel is dedicated to woodworking videos, but this particular one is actually going to be about how I fixed my Apple Magic Mouse with a Veritas woodworking chisel. And the reason for this is because recently I purchased a new laptop to be able to do the video editing for my YouTube channel, but I had this old Apple Magic Mouse that it always disconnected from the previous laptop and I just wanted to fix it to keep using it with the new one. So stick around and I'll show you how I fixed the Apple Magic Mouse disconnecting and reconnecting all the time with my Veritas chisel. So I've seen a few videos where people are trying to fix their Apple Magic Mouse because it continually disconnects from the computer. Everybody seems to think that by wedging a washer or some aluminum foil in these spring contacts, like in between the spring contact and the, the negative terminal of the battery, that it fixes the problem. But I actually believe the real problem is that the positive end of the battery is not long enough to easily fit into this little recessed hole where the contact is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my woodworking chisels and I'm going to thin the plastic down a little bit so that there's less space or that that shallow hole is just a little bit less shallow so that the battery can actually make contact up at the positive end. Everybody seems to be focusing on the negative end and I'm going to see if doing something at the positive end will actually fix things. So how much am I really taking off? So if I measure the inside measurement here, looks like 50 and a half millimeters, okay, is what the overall inside measurement is. So this part right here took me a few minutes to do. There's no sense in boring you with the details, so we'll just fast forward through it. So I've got that little recess for the positive terminal, probably about a full 0.9 millimeters deeper on that one side and over a millimeter, it's about 1.4 millimeters here. I'm not very consistent on, uh, on this work that I'm doing here. If you can kinda, kinda see that, so I'm just trying to show you a little bit of a close-up of what it looks like inside this battery box here. Probably I could have done a much cleaner job if I had to used a uh, Dremel tool. But what I'm trying to accomplish here is not having to fiddle around with ever having to put little pieces of tin foil in here like what other videos on the internet have, have talked about. Because who has time to do that? Spend the time once is my philosophy, and then never again. I've almost got it how I want it. There's just one spot here where I think the end of the battery may get hung up, but it won't after I'm done with it here because I'm going to make sure I work this down really, really well. Now, this is not my typical woodworking videos. I can chisel wood a lot more precisely than this, but I'm also not working inside of a round piece of wood typically. Like this, this is an absolute nightmare to try and get in because of the diameter of the AA batteries that fit the Magic Mouse. But let's see what happens here, okay? I'm gonna call it right here. I think I've got things about as, about as good as I can probably get it without really spending a lot of time. So I'm gonna give her a try. I'll fire this up and see if it works. Okay, so that seems to have actually worked and fixed the mouse. Okay, it's working fine. And we'll use it for the rest of the night here and see if it disconnects because usually it disconnects within a matter of, you know, within 10 to 30 minutes of use. Well, there you have it. The Apple Magic Mouse fixed with a half inch Veritas woodworking chisel. I've had it fixed for about two weeks now. I wanted to use it for a little while to make sure that it actually fixed the 
disconnecting and connecting issue that everybody seems to be having. And it hasn't even disconnected once in the two weeks that I, I've had this fixed now. So a little bit crazy to be able to fix it with something like this. Yes, I could have done it with a Dremel tool, much cleaner, maybe a lot nicer looking, but what fun would that be? I thought it'd be kind of kind of cool to just do it with one of my woodworking tools since it's a woodworking channel. So anyhow, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified of other woodworking videos because I've got a lot more content coming down the road. Uh, one of my future ones is going to be the shop floor. And I also have a Rubo bench that I want to build shortly as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.